the way I treated people or the things I did in my life, I, I still blush at times, uh, try to let it go. But by the time I was 30, I was uh, friendless, uh, working in the smallest market in radio I had ever worked in. Um, I mean, even at 15 years old, um, <clears throat> hopeless alcoholic, uh, using drugs every day. My uh, family was just a shambles. The, the biggest change was I was um, trying to find a job. Nobody would hire me. Nobody believed that I really changed my ways and couldn't get an agent to represent me or anything. And I looked for about two years to try to find an entrance into talk radio. And my uh, wife, actually, wife-to-be, uh, said she wouldn't marry me unless... Uh, we had a religion that we shared, and I said, oh, I can't do organized religion. It's all about manipulation and power and money and everything else. And she said, well, I'm not going to marry you. And so, you know, like every guy does with absolutely no spine, I said, okay, we'll go to find a church. And we went on a church tour, and we, we went to everything. I mean, I went to churches where, um, and I'm not kidding, the sermon on Sunday was delivered by an atheist, uh, which was an interesting concept. Um, but uh, she, my wife actually said, I'd like one that actually, you know, believes in God. Um, but a friend of mine called me and said, you know, how long have we been, been friends? And I said, why? And he said, well, you really going on a church tour? And I said, oh, freak boy, calm down. I ain't going to your church. He's a Mormon. And I said, there is no way I'm going to be a Mormon. And he said, you owe it to me and my friendship. We've been friends through thick and thin for 20 years. You owe it to me to go one Sunday. And I said, okay, what time? And he said, nine to noon. And I'm like, oh my gosh, three hours. What are you, insane? I said, you know, if your God can't get it done in one hour like everybody else's God, he ain't powerful enough. Um, so we went, and my daughter, who has cerebral palsy, she went, and, you know, the kids weren't really digging the church tour thing. We were walking out, and my, uh, my daughter uh, said, um, you know, I'd like, can, we, can we come back there? And my wife and I stopped dead in our tracks and said, what? And she said, I just feel so warm inside. And so we started to, uh, we started to go, and because you know we figured, okay, well, the kids like it. And uh, it was about six months later that I was um, sitting in a in a meeting, and uh, one of the guys who I've dubbed the Amazing Mr. Plastic Man because he was he was the happiest guy ever to meet us. He was like, hey, the first time you met us, oh, I just love you so much. And I'm like, I'll oh, give it a rest, brother. I mean, you'll hate me in ten minutes, please. I spent my whole life hating me, and. Um, uh, he um, he was talking in Sunday school, and he was talking about the concept of, which I'd never heard before of Zion. And he said, "How does this? How does this happen? How do we get there?" And uh, he said, "I mean, it's still powerful memory." He said, uh, "The only way this happens is if I truly love you, and you truly love me. And we may not agree with each other, but we love each other." And I realized that he was the most genuine person I had ever met. And um, it was it was then that I thought I don't care if there's Kool Aid down in the basement I'm drinking it because I want to be I want to be like that you know I want to I want to be able to um, genuinely love someone the first time I met them what a great goal that is and that's really what changed our life that's it I we were baptized on a uh, we were baptized on a baptized on a Sunday and on Monday an agent called me out of the blue and he said uh, I hear you're trying to do talk radio and I said yeah and I swear to you just like this he said um, do you know a guy named Gabe Hobbs and I said no I know of him but I don't know him he said somehow or another he said we need to connect you with him he said he can help you as he said that no kidding My caller ID went off, or my call, my call waiting went off, and I reached over and I said, hang on, just a sec, George. And I said, hello, and he said, uh, the voice on the other said, Glenn Beck, and I said, yes, and he said, this is Gabe Hobbs. And I went back to my agent and he said, wow, do you ever feel like someone upstairs is watching over you? And I said,
And that's yes, what, sir, I do. That's what started all of this. That's what started it all, and we, uh, we have been, I just, you know, we just feel, we are just so greatly blessed every step of the way. It changed everything. Um, I was a hard-drinking, hard-living, hard-talking um, man. I, uh, uh, I was on the wrong side for a long time, and it has tr totally changed me, totally changed my family, brought my family together. Um, you know, one concept that was really hard for us was Sunday just honoring the Sabbath. Um, and it's, it, it only makes sense in so many ways. You know, we, we, our favorite day of the week now is Sunday because there's nothing going on except celebrating the family, uh, having real perspective of what's really important. Um, and uh, it was about a year ago, I asked the kids, I said, what, what's the best part of our family? And they said, Sunday, being able to be together and just being a family Sunday. It's your refuge from all of this. It is. It is. I'd be, I, I, I know it. I would be, um, I wouldn't be here uh, without it. I would be a drunk without it. I wouldn't have my family without it. Um, and I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. You know, you can only... It, it only makes sense to be able to, you know, it's like, kind of like, you know, you buy a car, you get an instruction manual. Uh, and guys never read it, and I never read it most of my life. Now that I find the instruction manual, it only makes sense. Power down. You know, keep things into perspective. Really, I think one of the things I think of, of, of all the time is cry out to him. Cry out. Uh, and I... I try to, um, I, I try to have my relationship that way with him. You know, being able to just really be as passionate and as personal with him as he has been with me, and just to say, "Look, I am really struggling with this. Help me." And it, it's remarkable, remarkable. I'm lucky enough. Um, Luck had nothing to do with it. I am, I am so blessed to be able to have a wife who will tell me, you're coming home now. Uh, and I want that from her, you know. She is the strongest, most remarkable person. I, I have partners in everything I do. And uh, my wife is my most important partner. And I, on business, my business partners will, they just know, Glenn can't do that, or Glenn, you're not doing that, because it'll affect this or this or this in business. And my wife is that way. Um, uh, you know, I, 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 I wish there were 50 hour days. You know, I could, I could fill 50 hour days. Um, I just need someone to help me say, enough.